Hi, my name is George Kemble. I'm executive director and co-founder of the Stanford D School. Uh, welcome to Open Office Hours. What I'd like to do is just introduce you to the D School, give you a, a couple of examples of the types of things our students work on, um, and then uh, um, open up with a couple of questions, which we'll answer later with the rest of my team. The D School, as you could uh, see, is a relatively new place on campus. Uh, which brings faculty and students from just about every discipline in school to one place uh, to be introduced to a new type of innovation methodology we call design thinking uh, and to learn how to innovate together by tackling some of the biggest and messiest challenges that we face. Um, you'll notice uh, that what that has already started to do is fundamentally redesign, redesign what the classroom is. Our students work on teams. Um, they have access to 24-7 to this type of collaborative environment. Um, and they work on projects as, uh, as wide as redesigning the banking experience to the waiting in line experience at the airport, um, um, redesigning how farmers uh, um, grow their crops uh, uh, who make a dollar a day in Myanmar um, to your hospital emergency room experience and everything in between. Um, what we have found in terms of uh, teaching innovation is that it requires bringing diverse experts together who might not otherwise get along, and working a process that tends to be relatively human-centered, it pays a lot of attention to people, um, and is uh, quite experimental, has an attitude of prototyping in just about everything. Um, that is quite different than how most of our students historically have been taught in a traditional classroom, where they're given the problem, and they just think their way through it, and often work alone. Um, you'll notice um, that uh, the space um, um, has, has some things like uh, wheels on our tables and wheels on our couches and big places to think out loud. We found those types of assets are important to get a student team to collaborate together. Um, we started in a double wide trailer on the edge of campus that no one else wanted and every year we have moved and for us in some sense each move has been a big prototype of what the D school is and we've learned along the way. Um, right next to where our students work are where our faculty um, um, also work. Um, the students are on teams and the faculty are on teams. So each class, instead of being taught by one faculty who is just lecturing in front of the classroom, um, the, te the teaching happens in teams. So you'll have a business school faculty member with an engineering faculty member and a social scientist who are often in front of the students and they don't always agree, which is a really important part for the students uh, to figure out what type of path is worth working on themselves. Uh, we have a wide range of projects um, from business and design um, um, to social entrepreneurship. One of the big areas that our students are quite interested in is having social impact alongside their commercial success. Um, we, have, we work with many different countries. Um, instead of the students just working here and coming up with ideas, they visit the countries, they spend time with the people um, um, who are challenged with either um, uh, diet um, enrichment or irrigation issues, um, or in some cases, in this project, uh, some of you might be familiar with the Embrace story. A group of students were charged with redesigning a less expensive incubator, and they've since launched a company called Embrace. Instead of a $20,000 incubator, um, it is a $20 incubator. We have also have a big uh, initiative that we call K through 12. Um, one thing we found uh, when, the, when we started working with the graduate students here is we had to help them unlearn habits that they often picked up in elementary school where working together was often called cheating and the last thing that you could do was to fail a standardized test. And then we push them out in the world and we want them to learn how to work together uh, and be willing to take risks. Um, so we found design thinking is the type of thing that can preserve the natural creativity that kids have when they enter school. Most kids enter school feeling um, confident in their creative ability, but they don't often leave school feeling creative. Um, so we have uh, worked with teachers and schools, um, in inner city schools, and in San Francisco, and internationally, to put mini D school environments on elementary school campuses um, to, to do teacher training. And we've seen transformation of teachers and students. One of my uh, favorite little quotes is of a girl, I think she might have been a fourth grader, where after a design thinking workshop in class in elementary school, she said, today was a good day. I got to use my imagination. I can't remember the last time I got to do that. Um, that is uh, both sad, but also heartwarming that our students, um, when they are challenged with real projects and get a chance to go out in the world and identify real needs and can put real prototypes back in people's lives, um, that they um, accelerates their own learning and their sense of potential impact and can actually change the world. Um, 
a little bit later, um, our, some of our faculty from our Business and Design Initiative and others um, will be at um, uh, Stanford Leading Matters. So for those of uh, you, uh, the alumni, who are going to be at that event later this uh, next month, I believe in May, I look forward to seeing you there. Um, here are a couple of questions that I'd love to leave you with, and we'd love to hear what you think. Um, what type of innovation challenges do you think are worth working on uh, in the world today? Um, what type of obstacles do you think, uh, have you experienced too innovating in your own personal life or in the running of your businesses or in other endeavors? Um, and then what type of environment do you believe is most conducive uh, to innovation? For us, it's the type of thing we're most passionate about. Our goal is that Stanford students would leave confident in their creative ability, whether they're going into the world of business or into teaching or in healthcare. Um, or, in, or in law, or in public policy, or just about any domain, that they leave feeling empowered with their area of expertise and the sense that they can innovate with radically uh, gr different group of people. Um, look forward to uh, hearing what you have to say online and then uh, meeting back uh, again with you later. Thanks so much.